Hey guys, it's Ryan Shand here again, and I am doing episode 40 of my pickups. Um, now this video is, is actually my second attempt at doing this. Um, because I uploaded one last night, it took 18 hours, and the, the video quality was crap. Because I tried to um, modify my camera so the quality would be better, but it turned out to be rubbish. So um, this is a second attempt, so here's hoping it'll work. Um, First of all, it's Christmas, so I've got my Santa hat on, uh, my tech Santa, hat which I got from Asda, um, and yeah, feeling a bit festive, so uh, let's get started on the videos. The video, should I say? So first up, I've got a boxed and complete uh, Monopoly for the NES, um, and this I got off of eBay, and it's in uh, really nice condition. As Blue Tonic says, showing the sides of the boxes are, uh, you know, Important, which they are. That cost me twenty dollars, and that came through the other day. I was surprised it got here before Christmas, actually. Um, a PS2 game that I picked up off eBay, uh, Falling Stars, and uh, that's boxed and complete, and it's in really nice shape. And that cost me three ninety nine and free postage. I don't know why I picked that one up. I think that was more like an, an impulse kind of thing. A couple of N sixty four games, a game I wanted for a long time, but. Um, uh, I bought it two days ago and it came yesterday, so it was really fast, but it was Mortal Kombat Trilogy on the N64. Um, the seller described as the box as being tatty, and uh, he's not wrong. <laughs> the box is in hideous shape. Um, you know, the tabs and all that are coming off it, but it is complete, so uh, yeah, that ain't too bad. So that's Mortal Kombat Trilogy. That came to £22. It gave me £4 back on the, the condition of the box there. Also got Perfect Dark. Um, this is boxed in complete and mint condition. Uh, I say mint, it's got a little bit of a nick there. I'm not sure if you can see it, just there. Uh, but it is boxed in complete. And that cost me £9.99. I've already got this game, but uh, I've seen this one on eBay and it was in better condition than the one I had, so I couldn't really pass that one up. Next up, uh, got Banjo Kazooie. I already have this game, but I actually picked it up for a friend, so. Uh, it's like a Christmas present for her. She really loves her N64 and she really wants a copy of this game. So, uh, you know, there we go. That's Banjo Kazooie. It's in really good shape as well. So that's cool. That cost me five fifty. Uh, what else have we got here? We got. Oh yeah, I picked up a SNES game. I don't normally pick up SNES games because I don't collect for the SNES all that often. But it is Mario related, so I uh, had to pick it up. And I got a really good, I feel I got a good deal on this anyway. It's Mario Paint, and that is boxed and complete, in really good shape. So as we see there, and we see the back of it, it's in really nice condition. That cost me £19 and free postage. It's boxed and complete, the, the contents are mint on the inside. Uh, like I say, if anybody wants to see me doing an unboxing of these games, uh, let me know and I'll do one for you. Um, just kind of racing through these, trying to keep the time down a bit. Moving on to Sega Saturn, I didn't actually pick up any games, well I picked up three games off of eBay and I'll show you them first because I did get a package from a fellow YouTuber which I'll, I'll mention in a minute. First up is FIFA World Cup 98 and that's boxed and complete in really good, good uh, condition. Wipeout, again in really nice shape. And Gun Griffin. Which isn't in great condition, but the spine's fine. Now it's boxing complete. And those three games came to four ninety nine with three pound fifty postage off of eBay because it was like a package deal, so that was kind of cool. And these are the games that Time Team nineteen eighty two sent me: Sim City two thousand, which is boxing complete, and that's in really good shape. Daytona USA Championship Circuit Edition. I was really needing the box for this game, so he sent me that, so that's really awesome of him. It's also got the manual as well. He even sent the disc, um, but I already had the disc, so the disc is up for grabs, guys. And Sega Touring Car Championship, which I didn't have already, so that's cool. So thank you very much, Time Team. That's awesome, man. I'll make sure I get some stuff sent out to you as well. I know you like your PS1 games, so I'll be doing a PS1 collections video for my next collections 
um, like update. And then if you see anything in there you like, let me know. Um, moving on to Mega Drive, I picked up a ton of Mega Drive games in the past couple of months. Um, Wiz and Liz. That's boxed and complete. It's in good shape. These were all the job lots. I'll tell you how much I paid for them in a mo in a moment. The Legend of Galahad. Box and complete. In good shape. Tailspin. It's a bit sun faded on the side, which is a shame. But it's complete. Zool, Ninja of the Nth Dimension. I can remember playing that when I was a kid. So I'm looking forward to giving that one a go. A really awesome, awesome game. Streets of Rage 2. That's boxed and complete as well. And it's not the blue label cartridge, it's like the, the one that looks like there's bricks on either side of the cart. If that makes any difference, I don't know. Jurassic Park. Again, boxed and complete. Road Rash 3, <clears throat> a game I've been wanting to pick up for so long now. That completes my Road Rash collection on the um, the Mega Drive. This, the spine's a bit sun faded, but nah, it was cheap, so couldn't complain. Echo, The Tides of Time. It's again boxed and complete. And that one's in really mint condition, so I'm happy with that. You gotta love Echo. The Adventures of Mighty Max, a game I've wanted for a long time. Finally got a good deal on that one. And that's boxed and complete. It's a huge Mighty Max fan back in the day, so... Might and Magic, Gates to Another World. That's also boxed and complete. The Aquatic Games, starring James Pond and the Aquanauts. And again, boxed and complete. Street Racer, in mint condition, box and complete. Lemmings 2, The Tribes, We've got a good deal on this one as well. And they are boxed and complete. If anybody wants to see the insides of the boxes, again, let me know guys, I'm just really trying to keep the time down. Asterix and The Great Rescue, box and complete. And fine, oh no. I say finally, there's still three games to go. Zoom. That's boxed and complete. However, it's one of those boxes that um, seems to collapse in on itself. The Jungle Book. You gotta love the Jungle Book. Boxed and complete. And finally, I think I saved the best till last. Earthworm Jim. And that's boxed and complete. Earthworm Jim I actually bought separately. Uh, and that one cost me £11.50 and it was £1.99 postage. The rest of the Mega Drive games, I think it came to roughly about £35. Um, I can't remember the, the amount of postage. I think I, I spent like £10 or £12 on postage for them. But um, I thought that was a good deal. Let me know what you think of that, guys. Uh, and finally, I've got some Game Boy games to show you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start with the... Oh, I need something I'll need to open the case as well. Toxic Crusaders, and that's in its nice little case, and I got that with a manual as well, so that was awesome. Now it cost me $17.99 altogether, I think I got ripped off with that, but um, it is a rare game, and I'm really wanting the box for this one. And I went to Thainston, and I got a ton of games um, from Thainston, so, uh, well I say a ton of games, I mean I never see Game Boy games there, so these are quite a lot for me. The Lion King, that was a pound. Kirby's Pinball Land, also a pound. Hyperload Runner, a pound. Gotta love this one. Looney Tunes, it's a fucking ace game that one. And that was a pound as well. Solar Striker, again another pound. A game I wanted for a while, Alleyway, I was so happy to find that in the wild, and that was a pound. Bomb Jack, now the label's um, terrible condition, but I really wanted to play the game, and that cost me a pound. 
and track meat for a pound and take my ball. I just picked that up because it was the last game we had and I didn't have it and that was a pound as well. So anyway guys, that um, just about completes it. I've actually, there's another game I need to show you but I forgot to put it in the video so bear with me two seconds. God, you can tell I'm so organised. Um, I actually picked this game up off Gumtree uh, and it's sealed and um, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. It's a game I've been wanting in a while for a long time. It is a DS game, um, but I haven't seen it in the wild and on eBay it seems to go for like over £20 a pop So and that's unsealed. But this was sealed and it's Mario Kart DS and being sealed it's in really good shape. I don't know if you can see the seal there. But uh, yeah, and that cost me £12 off Gumtree, which I thought was a really, really good deal. But anyway guys, that completes the pickups that I've had. Um, I have got more videos, um, um, uh -uh, more games to show you, but um, unfortunately after I shot the video yesterday, uh, I packed all the games away. So these are the only games I could actually get access to. So um, there is actually more, there's like PS2 games. I think it's just PS2 games though, so it's not too bad. Nothing nothing rare though. Nothing um, like extravagant or whatever. But yeah, so that's it. Um, I do have a, a couple of games for trade or sale, uh, which I'll stick on now. Um, Pokemon Pinball. The label's ripped on that one. But that's up for uh, trade or sale or whatever. Also a boxed Oddworld Adventures. I got a mint condition one of these through the other day. That's one of the games that's packed away and I can't I can't seem to get at it at the moment. But I'll show you it in another video. Um, the, the lid is sort of caved in on itself and it's ripped. The box is in god awful condition. Um, just to warn you. But the contents are all there. Uh, the game. Oddworld Adventures. And the manual. So if anybody wants that for trade or sale or whatever I'll give you a good deal on that. Because it's in terrible condition and uh, yeah, but it's a good game and it works fine, so. Also a couple of Sega Saturn games to show you. My original copy of Virtua Cop. Um, this doesn't have the manual. Um, it's a bit beat up inside there. But it's just the disc. Oh, oh my good god. So professional, isn't it? There we go, the disc. <laughs> um, a copy of Loaded. That's complete as well. Not in great condition, but it is complete with its manual, that one. Tomb Raider, in a really nice shape. That's boxed and complete. And Die Hard Trilogy, which is also boxed and complete. I did put this in my trades videos, but I'm just showing them again. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Um, that, that about wraps it up for 2012. Um, like I say, thanks for watching again. Uh, please rate, comment and subscribe. I'll leave a link to um, Time Team below. Um, he's an awesome YouTuber, so you should definitely check him out. Really generous guy. Um, and I'll definitely get something sent to sent to you if you're watching Time Team. Um, we'll get something sorted out that way. Um, but yeah, thanks for making 2012 a really good year for me. It's my first year on YouTube. Um, I've really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, just thank you very much. Um, I hope you guys have a great Christmas. Um, which is only a couple of days away now, um, which is 23rd of December today. So I hope you have a great Christmas and a fantastic New Year if I don't see you before then. Um, I might do a video before New Year, it just depends what I feel or if I've got time or whatever. But um, yeah, I've had a great time this year and I'm looking forward to more things in 2013. Like uh, some more Let's Talk videos, um, obviously more episodes, collection videos. Um, I'll even be doing a competition for my 100 subscribers, um, I'm well over 100 subscribers now, so I'm a little bit behind on that, but I will definitely get around to a good video for that, uh, a good competition for that one for you guys. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching, take it easy, I hope Santa's good to you, uh, remember, text Santa what you want, uh, and I'm sure he'll get back to you, um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching, please rate, comment and subscribe, and I'll get back to you as always, and um, yeah, take it easy, and uh, I'll probably see you in 2013. Thanks guys, see you later.